Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Today I'm gonna to see if there's an option for a heavy wine when your wallet's really not that heavy itself. So stay tuned, let's see if this Petite Syrah is actually gonna be worth the $3.50 I paid for it. So the other day I was at Total Wine and I only had a couple bucks on hand and I decided I wanted to try something that I normally don't do. I wanted to try to see if I could find a Petite Syrah. So I was looking around that section and I stumbled upon the 2012 Crane Lake Petite Syrah. It's from California. Um, it is 12.5% alcohol by volume. And on top of that, I had a little change coming back because it was $3.50 before tax. So obviously, my rule of uh, five, if it's under $5, it's questionable, but it still could be good. So let's see if this is any good. So I just poured a sample. Uh, as you'll see from the bottle, my wife got to it before I did. So apologize for the f not having a full bottle there. But if you look at it, it is a definite uh, Petite Syrah. It is dark, it is inky, it is purple, it is glorious. I absolutely love the look of Petite Syrahs. And ooh, from a smell standpoint, that has a lot of blackberry, maybe a little bit of blueberry. It's very interesting. It's very dark berry. Um, no, I'm gonna say it's blackberry. It's it's very actually nice. Like it's it, it's not offensive. I it so th there have been a couple wines uh, like uh, the San or actually no, it was the Cold de Sac. Cold de Sac wines that they have at HEB are horrible horrible wines. HEB should stop selling them immediately. They are bad. The San Simon that they have is actually somewhat good if you get the right one. And somewhat good, I mean like I can tolerate drinking it, but I wouldn't want to drink it for very much uh, or for very many glasses. Um, whereas this actually smells almost just like a normal wine. It's not very complex, but it doesn't smell cheap like the cul-de-sac wines do. So that's a very good start. Maybe it's that extra 50 cents they spend in making it or selling it. Um, but it's it's not actually that bad. I'm getting a little bit of like an herbal aspect to it. Um, can't really nail down the herb though, but definitely getting a dark berry. I'm probably leaning towards blackberry at this point. Anyway, so um, go ahead and do a taste. Hmm. Don't see him. Ooh. I was going to say medium acid. I'm going to probably stick with that. It kind of sucks the spit out of my gl the saliva glands there right as I was about to swallow. Getting a lot of, of berry, dark berry. Very heavy on the blackberry. Um, might have blueberry in the finish. It's a short finish. It's hard to... Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's probably some blueberry in the finish. It's a very short finish. Um, almost, almost finished this clean. Um, it's kind of jammy. Uh, it's a, but it's not harsh. It's not abrasive. It's not bad. This is actually not a bad wine. I, I for three dollars and fifty cents, I was really, really concerned it was gonna be bad. Um. But it's not. I would probably buy this again. I would probably buy this again, especially if I was going to pair it with something like, um, oh, like uh, I had a, a, a lamb vindaloo the other day. It was amazing. Uh, that would go really well with it. The, the spiciness would kind of pull it out. Or just kind of lamb, like you can do rack of lamb or something really fancy. This would go well with it. Um, you want to tone it back a little bit, just probably pair with a hamburger. It'd probably pair with uh, a steak. Uh, it doesn't even have to be that fancy on that end. Uh, the other thing I'd probably look at pairing it with is probably some like strong cheeses. Uh, some cheeses that have a good robust flavor profile to them. This would this has a strong enough profile. I don't feel like it'll be drowned out by the cheese, but I don't feel like it will overpower the cheese either. Um, this is not bad. So I'm going to give this a try again. In terms of, I would try it again as long as I'm pairing it with food. Um, 
does not disappoint whatsoever in terms of the quality, but um, for $3.50, you could pick up a handful of bottles, keep them on hand, and it would be absolutely brilliant. Um, so um, thank you for stopping by today. If you liked what you saw in the video in terms of the review, uh, feel free to subscribe, like, uh, and if you want uh, to get notifications on more videos that come out, make sure you click the bell that's next to the subscribe button so YouTube sends you notifications because YouTube just can't give you notifications if you just subscribe anymore. Don't know why. It's weird. But uh, if you want to know when the videos are coming out, please click on that, share with your friends, and feel free uh, to stop by and leave a comment as well on the bottom. If you've tried the, uh, the Crane Lake wines, let me know if there's another one I need to try that's good. If there's one that's bad, I need to stay away from. Maybe I'll go out and buy, if they're $3 or $4 a bottle, I might go out and buy some more um, of these and bring them on the show and maybe do like a, a taste test. Like, can someone pick? Actually, that's a brilliant idea. That's what I'm going to do. So in the future, I'm going to buy another set of wines like this so like crane lake uh maybe some ten dollar to twelve dollar wines and that might make you also get like a 30 or 40 dollar wine and so that way we can try them all together and i'm gonna have someone who doesn't really care about wine too much not too wine snobby maybe be the person who's gonna be the taste tester on that one yes thank me for the idea anyway so this has been stuart with wine on the dime signing off have a great day